Overview of Greenhouse, and Basic Concept. The facts behind which green word is used for greenhouse? Previously called blanketing effect for greenhouse effect. Renamed as greenhouse effect by Pointing or Fourier, not clear, 1907 due to greenhouse gases, heat trapping gases. In the UK, greens is a general term for leafy plant food. So greens that grow inside glass or plastic houses termed as greenhouse. Botanical garden for a glass structure housing plan slowly began to be referred to as a greenhouse. Simply, a greenhouse is named because it's a house that contains green things, i.e. plants. Green revolution for the agricultural production. Introduction to greenhouse. Any framed or covered structure with controlled environmental condition used for the production of fruits, vegetables, flowers, or growing plants. Covered with transparent or translucent material i.e. glass, acrylic, polycarbonate, fiberglass. Most practical method of achieving the objectives of protected agriculture. Natural environment is modified by using sound engineering principles to achieve optimum plant growth and yields. Here are the images of simple and automated greenhouse. The various advantages of a greenhouse, under controlled environment, are Multiple crops can be grown during a year Off-season production of vegetable and fruit crops Increased crop productivity Production of superior quality of produce Efficient use of various inputs like water, fertilizers, seeds, and plant protection chemicals Effective control of pests and diseases Percentage of germination of seeds is high in greenhouses. The acclimatization of plantlets of tissue culture technique can be carried out in a greenhouse. Planning of agricultural and horticultural crop production schedules to take advantage of the market needs. Growing medium like peat moss, vermiculite, rice hulls and compost that are used in intensive agriculture can be effectively utilized in the greenhouse. Export quality produce of international standards can be produced. Drying and related operations of the harvested produce can be taken up utilizing the entrapped heat. Suitable for automation of irrigation, application of other inputs and environmental controls by using computers and artificial intelligence techniques. Self-employment on farm. Overview of greenhouse in world scenario. A French botanist named Charles Lucien Bonaparte, 1803-1857, is said to have designed the first modern greenhouse in Leiden, Holland, which housed medicinal plants. There are more than 50 countries now in the world where cultivation of crops in the greenhouse is undertaken on a commercial scale. In Asia, China and Japan are the largest users of greenhouses. The development of greenhouse technology in China has been faster than in any other country in the world. Israel is the largest exporter of cut flowers and has wide range of crops under greenhouses. Greenhouse cultivation is being practiced and possible in all types of climatic conditions. Status of Greenhouse in Nepal the then Vegetable Development Directorate has launched Precision and Protected Horticulture Program in 2016-17 AD for supporting construction of Plastic House, GI Plastic House, Naturally 6 Ventilated Greenhouse, Net House, and High Tech Greenhouse for off-season vegetable production in different district of Nepal. Prime Minister Agriculture Modernization Project, MAMP is a 10-year project which has constructed different protected structures through its pockets, blocks, zones and super zones area in different district of Nepal. Plastic low tunnel slash nursery tunnel, local type greenhouses slash bamboo greenhouse slash tunnel, naturally ventilated green slash poly house, shade net house and insect proof net house are major practices slash types of greenhouse technology adopted by farmers in Nepal. Some more fan and pad cooling system and soilless culture are also at initial stage of greenhouse technology in Nepal. Greenhouse are at developing stage in Nepal. Several wards are organizing grant system for encouraging the locals. 
expensive than simple farming method. Intensive efforts in the form of demonstrations and sensitization are needed to popularize greenhouse technologies from the all concerned agencies. Looking for working of greenhouse, here are their main principles. A greenhouse uses a special kind of covering material that acts as a medium which selectively transmits spectral frequencies. The covering material of the greenhouse traps energy within the greenhouse and the heat in turn provides for the plants and the ground inside the greenhouse. It warms the air near the ground, preventing it from rising and leaving the confines of the structure. The sun shines enters in the greenhouse through the covering material as short waves. These waves strike objects in the greenhouse and are re-radiated as long waves, the long waves do not readily return through the covering material. This is known as the greenhouse effect. The inside air becomes warmer than the outside air. Objects, plants, in the greenhouse absorb heat during the day and return it to the ambient at night thereby maintaining temperature and performing biochemical reactions. Constituents of environment in greenhouse Light One of the major environmental constituents of greenhouse is light. In the light-dependent reactions, energy from sunlight is absorbed by chlorophyll and converted into stored chemical energy, in the form of NADF and ADP during photosynthesis. Visible light of all wavelengths is readily utilized in photosynthesis. The intensity of sunlight required by different plants is different. Greenhouse crops are subjected to light intensities varying from 129.6 clux on clear summer days to 3.2 clux on cloudy winter days. Source of light may be natural or artificial. Temperature Temperature is a measure of level of the heat present. Major cause is radiation. All crops have temperature range in which they can grow well. All biochemical reactions in the plant are controlled by the enzymes and the reaction doubles or triples for each rise of temperature by 100 degrees Celsius, until optimum temperature is reached. The night temperature of greenhouse crops is generally in the range of 7 to 210 degrees Celsius. Greenhouse crops are grown at a day temperature, which are 3 to 60 degrees Celsius higher than the night temperature on cloudy days and 80 degrees Celsius higher on clear days. Humidity Which generally means concentration of water vapor present in the air. Relative humidity of greenhouse air is greater than ambient air due to evapotranspiration. Acceptable range of relative humidity is between 50 to 80 percent for most crops and 90 percent for plant propagation work. To maintain the desirable relative humidity levels in the greenhouses, processes like humidification or dehumidification are carried out. Hygrometer is fixed inside the greenhouse to check the humidity inside. Air circulation The temperature difference between inside and outside air causes natural air movements. The warmer air inside is replaced by outside air through natural ventilation with the help of vents provided at the top of the roof. Air circulation inside a greenhouse can be controlled either natural ventilation or by forced ventilation. Air temperatures above 350 degrees Celsius are generally not suited for the crops in greenhouse. Greenhouse ventilation Allowing the fresh air to enter into the enclosed area and driving out the air with undesirable properties through natural or artificial means. Essential for reducing temperature, replenishing CO2 and controlling relative humidity in the greenhouse. Ventilation requirements for greenhouses vary greatly, depending on the crop grown and the season of production. Natural ventilation. With the increase in temperature, the incoming air becomes lighter and rises up and flows out through the roof ventilators. This sets up a chimney effect, which in turn draws in more air from the side ventilators creating a continuous cycle. The ventilators on the roof as well as those on the side wall accounts, each about 10% of the total roof area. North and south ventilators are opened during cooling phase. In the tropics, the sides of greenhouse structures are often left open. Ventilators are located on both roof slopes and sides preventing direct rain. Forced ventilation. Mechanical devices such as fans are used to expel the air. 
Uniform cooling. It includes summer fan and pad and fog cooling systems and the winter convection tube and horizontal airflow systems. Low pressure, medium volume propeller blade fans, both directly connected and belt driven are used for greenhouse ventilation. They are placed at the end of the greenhouse opposite to the air intake. Evaporative cooling in combination with the fans is called as fan and pad cooling system. Carbon dioxide. Carbon is an essential plant nutrient and is present in the plant in greater quantity than any other nutrient. Under normal conditions, carbon dioxide, CO2, exits as a gas in the atmosphere slightly above 345 ppm. During the day, when photosynthesis occurs under natural light, the plants in a greenhouse draw down the level of CO2 to below 200 ppm. Infiltration or ventilation increases carbon dioxide levels, when the outside air is brought in, to maintain the ambient levels of CO2. Most crops will respond favorably to CO2 at 1000 to 1200 ppm. If CO2 in greenhouse is less than ambient CO2, may retard crop growth. Heating of incoming air can be done to balance CO2 in cold regions. We hope you are clear about general interjection to greenhouse, please feel free to comment your queries regarding greenhouse in comment section, thank you.